A controversial top trending print this week, but this model is not like any I've seen before. Usually a top trending model is the top three or four when you filter on other criteria, but this one is literally number one trending, as well as number one download, makes, likes, views. I'm anti-blaster. Yes, I'm Australian. I might lose a few subscribers saying I'm anti-blaster. For me, the mechanics of this model is what makes it really interesting. Fortunately, there's an alternative model that's a less blastery version. It uses the same principle, so let's see how they all print. When I first saw this rising up the trending models on printables, I didn't think too much of it. It's a toy I wouldn't really print and give to my kids to play with, so I wasn't too interested. I saw a few people talking about it though in some forums over the last week and looked into it a little more and wow. If you want to really geek out about the mechanical engineering side of this and see how Mark Robert built this model progressively smaller until it was so small he got it built from DNA, I can really recommend the video and I'll put a link in the description to it. The concept of compliant mechanics is fairly new to me, but this model is a single printed piece that does the same function of an 87 piece Nerf Blaster. The link video is going to do a much better job than me explaining, so what you get from my training video as always, does it print well at home. I started with the half size version of the Blaster and the small version of the disc launcher in PLA Plus and printed with the standard settings I'd use for a 0.2mm layer height. They all printed fine and they seem to function with no assembly required. You can see I loaded up the dart, it fired no problem. Same with the disc launcher, printed fine, disc launch great. You can see pulling back the mechanism and letting it catch and stay in place. The flex in the ribs is what holds the energy waiting to be released. For the blaster I did try the quarter size version at a 0.2 layer height but couldn't get the latch to catch very well or the dart to fire properly. I tried a few times before I recorded, there was a lot of flex in the top part of the mechanism and it didn't pull back the firing part enough to hit the dart well. As usual with these trending videos, to get it out quickly, time is not on my side to get it working and in terms of the quarter size that's the best I got. If you've been successful with a quarter size print of this, let everyone know in the comments if you got it to work, what you used, settings, filament, etc. So does it work as a Nerf Blaster? Yeah, kind of. Functionally, yes, I suppose you'd say it does. As an educational tool though about compliant mechanisms, I think it would get kids interested, which is the important part. I'd go for the disc shooting version though, rather than teaching with a different kind of device. That's it for another trending print. Subscribe and I'll see you next week.